Welcome into the Alabama Football Report. I am Tom Downey here with some recruiting news and rumors. Sorry, I'm a bit congested. That's on my 15-month-old for getting me sick. Let's hit the latest on the recruiting side, beginning with a new offer for a 2025 five-star recruit, Caleb Cunningham, who in the next year's class appears to be one of the top receiver prospects or recruits, I should say, available Picked up an offer from Alabama on Friday. It was a somewhat busy day for the Crimson Tide. Some more updates from Friday coming up here in today's show. Uh, going after the top five stars, every class is kind of the whole Alabama thing. That just makes sense. But for 2025, it also means that Alabama actually thinks those recruits are good. We know how recruiting is. The services are great, but the coaches you know, tend to know more on that front. So, and he picked up an offer from the Crimson Tide is a clear sign that Cunningham should be among the best players in that 2025 class. Here's what he had to say. He told uh, Alabama Magazine, excuse me, about the offer. I talked to Nick Saban in his office and he offered. It felt so unreal. He said he watched my film and he liked it. He was telling me to always be the best you can be and I was really impressed about the graduation rate. As it sits in the way, way, way too early 2025 class, Cunningham's a five-star. This is all, by the way, per the 24-7 sports composite. Like we always use the industry standard after all. Number 10 overall, the number two wide receiver and the number one from the state of Mississippi. Nothing quite like going into Mississippi and taking away the top player from Ole Miss and the Bulldogs. Now, if you want more Alabama football recruiting videos, show us that you do. Type in me in the comment section. We're still figuring out what content you guys want the most, so chime in if you want it by typing in me. Let's check in on five-star quarterback for 2024, Julian Saiyan, elite name, and I cannot wait for the Super Saiyan nickname just to grab hold. Visit Alabama again over the week slash weekend. Uh, his latest visit, he said it went great, and he could return for A-Day, the spring game coming up later in April. He committed early last November. Uh, he said Ohio State was still recruiting him, but he's not really showing much interest there. So I would be pretty shocked if a flip ended up happening for Julian Sand. Sounds like he will be a Crimson Tide when it's all said and done. Is that the right? Grammar? I don't know. Five-star, number 12 overall. Again, a new update on the 24-7 sports composite. He jumps up a bunch of spots. The number two quarterback and the number one player in the state of California. He is the top Alabama commit, which for now puts them at number 11 in the top 2024 recruiting class rankings. So only, I think, four commits for Alabama. So a much smaller group. Georgia leads the way. LSU, Michigan, Notre Dame, Florida State, some blue bloods. That makes sense. South Carolina's five. Wake Forest is number seven in the recruiting ranking, which is also a brand new sentence. Oregon is number eight. Tennessee is nine. Clemson, 10. Then, of course, it's Bama at number 11. Very early. I fully expect the Crimson Tide to skyrocket and finish number one once again. Do you agree with me? Will Alabama get that number one class for 2024? Type in Y for yes or N for no. It's the pinned comments on today's video. So if an ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there. Y for yes, N for no. Let's update you now on Deuce Robinson, the latest on the top unsigned, uncommitted 2023 recruit. Uh, decision day is a few days away, said by April 1st. I saw a report saying on April 1st, but it wasn't from Deuce himself, so a bit of uncertainty there. Also, don't commit on April 1st. That's going to be confusing to people. It's too, too prime for pranks. Uh, he is the biggest, again, unsigned recruit touted baseball player as well. He's number 17 overall in the class of 2023. The number one tight in the top Arizona recruits. We have the updated on three projections since they had the top four teams that have been linked to Robinson. It's just projections, percentages. So, you know, your high schoolers making decisions. Don't always assume things end up going down that way. But a lot of buzz lately on USC landing Deuce Robinson, going to play for Lincoln, Riley, Caleb Williams, etc. Georgia, 19%. Texas, 9.5. Bama, less than one. I guess he was going to go anywhere not named Alabama. USC makes the most sense. Hopefully not Georgia. That's been a bit of a change from the last time we checked in. Georgia was in the lead. Now USC is. Maybe it's just, you know, people talking. Maybe it's accurate. We'll find out in theory in the coming days. Does not seem likely, however, that Robinson 
will end up with Alabama. So what is the percent chance that he does? I think it's I think it's less than five. Doesn't seem like Bama's that committed to trying to land him right now, but you guys can predict it for me. Percent chance Alabama lands Deuce Robinson. Let's talk defensive backs here. Two visits getting scheduled slash that have happened. Corian Gibson, a four-star cornerback for 2024, says he's going to visit Alabama from June 9th to 11th. He also visited in late January. This one is significant because it seems like, again, it's recruiting, it's, it's players talking, so they always seem like they're interested. You know, that's how it works. Uh that he's one of the top targets for this Alabama recruiting class in the secondary. Four-star recruit, 60th overall, number seven corner. He's the number 10 player from the state of Texas, by the way, which is fairly significant there. It's always a good state to go recruit. You've got your Floridas, your Californias, your, your Georgias these days, etc. So that would certainly make some sense there uh, for Gibson. Uh, you're going to push him across here. You're good, Patrick. Uh, 60th overall. Number seven quarterback, adding more talent, always a good thing in the secondary because next year you're going to be replacing a bunch of key pieces. So keep an eye on the interest in Gibson. We will wait and see if they end up landing him. Uh, seems like Oklahoma is in the mix as well there, among other teams for, for Gibson. And for Aaron Flowers, who visited Alabama on Friday. This timing is ultra significant, at least I believe, because he's going to make his commitments on April 7th. So two-ish give or take a couple days, uh, weeks uh, away there from that uh, decision. Based on what we've seen so far with his visit tracker, that means Alabama was the last one to visit with him. And maybe he takes a trip again next week, and that changes things there. Alabama did make the final 10. I'll put final in air quotes because he then said, ah, it might not be my final. So, you know, there was some Arkansas, for example, wasn't on that list, but had a good visit with him. So maybe Arkansas is still in the mix there. Also, unsold, this is going to be a finalized commitment, and just kids do it. It's fine. I don't mind it at all. A commit to now, and then maybe change your mind again in, you know, six months or whatever. Flowers is a four-star recruit. He's a safety, by the way. Gibson, of course, was a cornerback. Number 133 overall, the number 10 safety in this class, which, of course, always subject to change the final 10 out of Flowers. An alphabetical order, not ranked, by the way. Alabama. Baylor, Louisville, Michigan State, Oregon, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas Tech, USC, and Washington. So, pretty wide array of schools on that one. Of that grouping, I still think Alabama kind of stands out as a, as a top school. We'll see how much that little visit this past weekend influenced Flowers when he makes his decision later in April.